Hey there yarn lovers, it's Gary and I'm coming to you from my happy place, the Yarn Corner here on Vancouver Island in Canada. So welcome, welcome, welcome. Today is Sunday, April the 2nd, 2023 and this is video number 180. How are you all doing? I hope you're well and staying safe. As the title suggests, I have been shopping online at Wool Warehouse. Now Wool Warehouse is a online store situated in the UK and I thought about putting together a series of videos that looks for a really good DK or three weight economic acrylic based yarn. And I have in my little reach here two orders because I've never ordered before from Wool Warehouse. I thought let's start with the UK yarns and let's look and compare some of the more economic yarns and I believe I have like three or four. When I was online I also did a little bit of shopping as well for things that I caught my eye and uh, all of these price points will be in English pounds uh, so translate those cur that currency into whichever currency you have at home to find out whether the pricing is good or bad. Uh, so yeah the shipment took about two and a half weeks to get to me and I did make two of them. Uh, in each of the orders the price point was the same, it didn't fluctuate with any sales uh, so it it still had the ticketed value of uh, whatever is was from the first order to the second order. So before I get started there are a few things that I want to talk about. One is what I normally talk about with what Hank is wearing. I've dressed him in a knit sweater and it is a two colour ribbed slip stitch pattern that I didn't follow a pattern but uh, <laughs> I did uh, learn this stitch from uh, Tin Can Knits. They have a website where it teaches you how to do some rib stitching and slipping the stitches with two colours so uh, that's how I learned how to do this this fabric. I'll link it down below so if you're interested in finding out how to do that style of knitting then uh, that will be a good reference to begin. And I am using two colours in, in the sweater. One is from Brown Sheep Company. It's Serendipity Tweed in the colourway, I think it's called Raindrop. It's a nice vibrant blue. One warning, word of warning there is that it did bleed when I was soaking it. Uh, so if you are interested in trying out that yarn, maybe I had a bad batch, I don't know, but do a sample test where you can maybe knit a swatch and then soak it to see whether or not your version actually bleeds as well before doing colour work because it did bleed into the second colour which is the Lion Brands Comfy Cotton in the colourway Driftwood. I really like the blend of them together so I've been wearing this all winter. I did finish it last year in September 2022 and it's had a good season's wear and I am still loving it so yeah, uh, and I also want to catch up on some of the past comments that I received in the last video I posted. It was my birthday and I want to say thank you for all the well wishes. Me and my husband Chad did have a great weekend. I went to a wonderful restaurant called Martins and we enjoyed a uh, Europeans inspired style dinner. Nothing in particular to a, a specific country but a uh, kind of eclectic mix. So we had steamed mussels to share to begin with and I had the rack of lamb which was absolutely superb and I can't remember what Chad had. I don't remember. So <laughs> we had a wonderful time and I'm going to do a little bit of a video where to go to if you're interested in coming to this area of Canada which is on Vancouver Island. It's called the Comox Valley and I'll highlight a few of my favourite eats in a different video but more on that later. So let's not waste any more time and talk about my first DK weight or three weight yarn here that I've purchased from Wool Warehouse. As you can tell I got a number of colours. The wonderful thing about value yarn is that you get a whole array of different colors to choose from. Each of these collections that I'm going to show you have anywhere from like 30 colors all the way up to like 57 to 60 colors and I think that's great and spoils us for choice. 
can always find the perfect hue with that many in the color range. So this one is James C. Brett and it's called Top Value Double Knitting. Now double knitting is another term for three weight yarn and I'll let you be the judge of that. It looks like a pretty good three weight yarn. It has a light twist on it and I have used this in crochet, not with knitting yet, so I'll talk about that in a little bit. But let's look at the ingredients of what's inside the yarn. 100 grams, 100% acrylic, 290 meters, 317 yards. It is machine washable and you can tumble dry this. Their suggestion here is to use four millimeter knit size knitting needles, but there is no crochet hook recommendation. And it is made in Turkey. The color that I'm holding is called Sage. Really lovely and squishy yarn. The price point on this is a dollar, uh, no, it's not a dollar, <laughs> it's a pound 99. So wherever you are in the world, you can convert that into your home currency and then find the price point. I think it's a great value. And as I said, it does have a great range of colors. So let's have a look at some of these colors. Put that down there. This one is called Mauve. This one is called Neon Coral. Oh, I like that one. It's really blowing out in the camera, but it is really bright too. This one here is called Fuchsia. This one is called Sun. Really nice yellow. We have one which is interesting. I've never seen this color before called Petrol. It looks kind of, I don't know, like a royal blue to me. And this one's called Bright Peach. This one is called Soft Grey. Some of these I am going to be using in a project together, which I'll put together in and show you at the end. Uh, here we have Acid Yellow. <laughs> I love that color name. Bright Red. Having a bit of an avalanche here. This one is called Aqua. This one is called Clementine. It's a nice orange. This one here is called Parchment. Oh, sorry, that's soft, soft, soft gray. And this one is called Parchment. So there is a little slight difference there. With as many colors that they offer, you can kind of get away with, you know, going up or down or cooler or warmer tone. Uh, we have lilac, salmon, yep, rose, for you. You light lilac, light lavender. And I'm thinking, I've got one more to show you. This one is called Lime. So I'm holding these all together because I am going to be doing a project where I'm going to use all of these colors here. So it's very pastel very soft palette and I think the only punch of color there is a lime that sort of it's uh quite a punch of color and yeah I think for a dollar sorry it's a pound 99 I keep on reverting to my own currency so pound 99 and I worked up in crochet with the lime color this tile here so it's a square that is in a pattern and I believe it's called Nature's Walk. It's a blanket and it has five or six motifs. This is one of them called Leaf. And 
I am planning to, well, this was my sample test, uh, to see what hook size I liked because I didn't recommend a hook size on the label and I'm a very loose crocheter. So I used a very small hook. It was a 3.5 millimeters. And I think that I like this style of density. It's not too flimsy for a blanket when they're all sewn together. It'll hold up some shape, which is nice. And I can see the pattern in there. So the stitch work where they need to be tight together, it's tight enough. And when it's sort of filleted, you can see those the shape of the leaf really nicely in there. It kind of looks more like a, a daisy almost to me. But uh, when I was working it up, it did split a little bit and I did get some uh, hanging up on my, my hook because it did, un, it did split with uh, the plies that are in the twist. But I think with some sort of consideration to the price point of this, it does hold a nice pattern and a nice stitch definition. So I liked working with it for the price point. Now, the next one that I have to show is a something also that I've never heard of before, and it's in this organza bag here. Again, really nice bright colors. And strangely enough, yes, you guessed it, a lot of those colors that are in this one that I'm gonna show you doubled up into the James C. Brett one as well. And the price point was a little different. So if you're being conscientious of saving where you can, this range of yarn is a little bit lesser in price. So it's called Yarn Smiths Create Double Knit. That's the ball band there. And let me tell you a little bit, a bit about this one. It's 100 grams as well. You get 290 meters or 117 yards, which is exactly the same. It's 100% acrylic. And are you made in Turkey as well? Yes, this is made in Turkey. And the care instructions are exactly the same that you can uh, machine wash and tumble dry this with the same measurement for the needle size and no crochet hook size. So the labels are fairly much identical, just that this one is on a brown kind of recycled looking label and the other one's on a glossy uh, sort of, I don't know, coded style label. Um, and this color is called silver. Really, really nice. I'll maybe take a strand out so you can see how that looks. Very comparable to the first one. I think they're identical. And let's look at the color colors in this one. Just gonna put my price point down there. These are one pound fifty nine. This one here is called bright red. Oh, there you go. There's another one. That's bright red from Top Value and from Yarnsmith Craft. It's almost 50 cents or 50, 50, uh, point, 50 0.5 of a pound less in value. And it's the same, the same yarn. This one here is called Dark Turquoise. A beautiful yarn. And this one's called Lemon Yellow. Okay, this one's Royal Blue. Ah, uh, that's the one that I thought looked like petrol. But as I am looking at it now, this one is way darker than the petrol. We have, what are you, Grass Green. And this one is called Fond Fondaine Pink. Uh, 
and bright orange. All those colours look great together. <laughs> it's, it's very bright. I have a few more in here. Sunshine yellow. I'm wondering whether that's the sun colour in the other variety. Let me have a look. Are you the, no, you're the acid yellow. Acid yellow. Oh no, it's, it's a slight different, the sun. Oh no, that looks almost the same. This one might be a little bit more orange. And we have cream. We have cornflower blue. And we have this one here, parchment, which we had a parchment in the other variety. And I'll just see, I, I did compare this and it did look like it was the same, the same yarn, but I can't find it right now underneath all of this. But yes, this one is a repeat as well with the James Seabrett. And I worked this one up. Oh, funny enough, there's a lime in this one as well. So we have doubles, double ups. And so let's take a look at this one worked up. Because it's the same yarn, I have the same uh, feelings about it when I was working with it. I used the same hook and this tile in that pattern that I was talking to you about, the nature's walk, Nature Walk Blanket, is called the Gate Tile. And again, using the 3.5 millimeter crochet hook, it gave a nice kind of, really nice kind of fillet style there of seeing the stitches as well, where they needed to be uh, compact and where they needed to be kind of a, a vacant void so that you could see the negative space. The next one that I've got to show you is, you in this organza bag? Let's have a look. Yes, this one, I only got a few of them, but then I got like a whole bunch of other stuff that I wanted to try out. And this one is called, it's from Sirdar, and it's called the Bonus DK Extra Value. That's it there. It's a nice color. Let's read about this. This is a little different from the other two. It's quite a plump yarn. It has a better twist to it. And that's the, the makeup of it there. And what are they telling us here? They're saying that it's 100 grams. In the 100 grams, I'm getting... How many yards? 305 yards or 280 meters. So a slight less value, uh, less yardage than the other two, but that is because it is quite a thicker yarn and more bouncier. And I'm gonna say that it's plumper. So when you're wanting to do certain stitch work with it and you want the stitches to raise up and sit above, or if you're doing a puff stitch, uh, I think this one is a great stitch for that, or a great choice for, for yarn. Uh, let's have a look. It's machine washable and you can tumble dry this yarn, so easy care instructions. Where are you made? Do you say? Are you made in Turkey? It's 100% acrylic. And made in Turkey. It's very, very soft. And I would even say that it doesn't have as much halo as the other one, the other ones do. So it's quite a nice compact style yarn. And this color is called Urban. Oh, sorry, Auburn. Urban, Auburn. Very, very pretty. I also got this color here called Cantaloupe. 
this colour here called Fox. And one more colour in this one here. And this one is called Bronze. Very, very nice. And the pattern that I worked up was from the same pattern, A Nature's Walk. And this is the tile here. It's called Buds. I used the colorway. Which one was it? This one here. This is the color that I used. And it's called Pumpkin. Oh, I didn't show you Pumpkin. That's Pumpkin. So as I was saying with the puff stitches, uh, this is a great yarn for having that three dimension. It's very plump yarn. And I'm I, again, I'm using the 3.5 millimeter crochet hook because these tiles need to be the same size. So I didn't want a chance going up a size, but I may not even put the, that brand of yarn into the nature's walk pattern. I'm thinking I'll probably keep it the same yarn. So the uh, James C. Brett top value yarn, as well as the, the yarn smiths create double knit yarn. But I enjoyed working with this. This one didn't split as much as the other two. And it does have um, a rougher feel to it, but that might be because it does need to have maybe a four millimeter crochet hook and not such a tight one like a 3.5 millimeter. But again, I like the bubbles on it. They raise nice and perky on it. So the price point of the Serda is £2.19. The other style of yarn that I purchased, which I didn't purchase for the test, were a couple of other yarns. Now, I have, I have received this in a gift and I really like the yarn, but I needed another ball to do a duster uh, cardigan or a longer cardigan. So I got the Hay Hayfield Bonus Aran Tweed and it is a 20% wool blend, acrylic and wool. So we have here 72% acrylic, 20% wool and 6% viscose. It's 400 grams in this whopping ball and the color is called Sagewood. They're recommending here a five millimeter set of knitting needles. Oh, and we do have a crochet hook here, here of five millimeters as well. It's machine washable uh, on a wool cycle. So that must be gentle wash. And you, uh, how do you dry it? Doesn't say. Do not tumble dry, so it must be dry flat. Made in Turkey. And how much do I get in this ball? Hmm, 840 meters or 920 yards. I love this yarn. It's so stinking gorgeous. It has a nice mull to it and headed variety with the two different types of yarns that colors that are in here with these nubs of viscose. I really, I really like this yarn. So I purchased that. Let's take a look at how much that big ball was. Now, it wasn't an economic yarn, but <laughs> I think it was a good value. It was £10.99 for 400 grams. So if you, I guess if you're looking at a 100 gram ball, you would quarter the price. So if it's, say, $11, say $12 even, that's uh, three pounds for 100 grams. Not bad. Next up is a yarn which I'm super excited for. I have some of this in my stash. I just needed another ball in this colorway and it is called the Serda Jewel Spun. The colorway is called 
Daybreak Delta. And if you rummage around in here, there are so many delicious colors that reminds me of Noro yarn. Now it doesn't have the feel of Noro yarn because Noro is more of the natural fibers like wool and uh, cotton, uh, but the colors and how they're broken down and they blend into each other in this kind of rainbow style here, that, that reminds me of Noro. So if you're looking at an economic way of obtaining similar style to Noro, then um, maybe this would be a good collection for you to look at. In Australia, the Serta Jewel Spun, a good replacement for it or substitute would be the Peyton's variety. Now, I'm not sure what collection it is, but it's not as big as a ball of, of 200 grams, but it, uh, it does have this similar feel and look. And I have one in my collection as well. Uh, it was a gift given to me and I absolutely love it. I am thinking of what I'm going to do with it. I have a pattern for it as well. It does involve slip stitching. Um, so yeah, this is great. Uh, it, the price point on it is £9.99. Let me tell you a little bit about this yarn. Okay, so it is a 100% acrylic. I believe I said that it's called Daybreak Delta, but there you have it again, if I have. Uh, 200 grams gives me 500 meters or 544 yards. It uh, is machine washable, but lay flat to dry. You can, uh, let's have a look. Recommended knitting needles and crochet hook size is five millimeters. It's made in India. And what else can I tell you? I think that's it. I really love it. It's squishy and it does have a bit of a halo to it. So I'm not sure after time, wash and wear, whether that will peel. So not sure on that one, but yeah. For £9.99, I think that's an excellent deal. Moving right along, what else do I have as the extras that I got in this bag when I went shopping? And here is another variegated, maybe self-striping. I'm not too sure how this bramble from King Cole works out, but uh, it's 100 grams per ball. And this color is called Loganberry. I absolutely love it. Ruin, reminds me of like tapestry or Persian rug. I, I don't know. It just, it gives me those vibes. It has a bit of a batik. I got a message. I'll just get rid of that. Uh, and you can see some of the natural yarn color breaking through. So the dye does not go all the way through. So it's not a full saturated yarn, which is a lovely technique when you're uh, wanting to, something to look washed or weathered. So sometimes it's called stone wash or uh, yeah, <laughs> it's really nice. Very, very nice and squishy yarn. And on the ball band, we see how it plays out here. I was thinking it was stripey. It is kind of stripey, but blendy. Blends with some stripes. So it's a hundred grams in the, uh, in the ball. You can machine wash and lay flat to dry. Four millimeter knitting needles, no crochet hook size, but perhaps maybe the same. And this one is made in Turkey. I love it. So the price point on this one, every time I um, get a ball out of the bag, the, <laughs> the, price, the price sheet just shoots off onto the floor. So this one here is from uh, King Cole Bramble is seven. Now is that both of them together? Probably is. Yeah, for two of them, it's seven pound 38. So half that and you'll get the price of one. And the last one that I have here that I got as extra is this one here, which linen drape from Stylecraft. I wasn't sure whether or not, I think the picture 
was deceiving a little bit because these are just small balls, but they're very heavy. And it is, I think, a cotton? No, it's linen. So it's viscose and linen. So I wanted to get some shiny yarn. I have a couple of balls in my stash that are bamboo based. And I wanted to make a project with some more of the shiny yarns for summer. And I like this color, so I wanted to try out a new to me yarn. It's called Linen Drape Double Knitting by Stylecraft. And the color is called Corn. It is machine washable. You have to lay flat to dry. In this ball, I'm getting, oh, it's 100 grams, so that's little ball there it's quite heavy um what am i getting in there i think it's i just saw it approximately 186 meters or 202 yards so not too much yardage in the 100 grams and it's not a very thick yarn it's uh they're saying it's a double knitting, so it's a three-way, which I agree. But it's super heavy. Like, maybe that would be good for a drapey type shawl or something. It's soft, but it, I think it, it has that little coating over it. When you're working with it, perhaps maybe it keeps all of the, the fibers together. And then once you wash it, it may get softer. Okay, so the price point on this one is together, having two together in the uh, the ticketed price, it's £5.98. So that is almost £3 for one of the balls. I don't think I would get that again, but I did want to try it. So yeah, the proof is in the making and uh, seeing how it washes and wears. It might be a, a yarn that I absolutely love <laughs> and I do like the color. So no regrets, no regrets. I really loved everything that I showed you. In wrapping up the video, I want to say thank you for joining in on the journey whilst I showcase some of the yarns that I purchased from Wool Warehouse. The angle of this was to try and find a really good DK economic 100% acrylic yarn and these don't have any special uh, ingredients to them so they're not anti-pooling, anti uh, they don't have wool in them or anything fancy like that. This is just an economic good workhorse yarn. The one that caught my attention was this brand here because of the price point and it has a, almost exactly the same color palette as its counterpart, which I didn't know that they were the same yarns, but after looking at them close at hand and trying them, they're very much identical. Even some of the color names are the same. And this is from James C. Brett, top value, double knitting. And this is the one that's, I, I would say it's very much the same. And it's called Yarn Smith's Create. Absolutely love it. Really like the wool warehouse as a as a place for shopping. There are all the varieties of styles of collections and yarn brands, ones that are more kind of glamorous and luxurious, which I sometimes get drawn to as well, as well as the economic yarns. They ship to a number of different countries, but I would suggest going over to their website to take a look for yourself and address that those shipping concerns with the company. I will link them down below. It's not an affiliated link, so it's just there for your ease of access. And with that, I hope that you enjoyed what I had to share. Let me know if you've tried any of the yarns that I've shown. And if you prefer a economic DK yarn that is 100% acrylic, let me know about that. I'd love to hear your point of view and what you've made with that type of yarn. And I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.